change, and everything is changed, nothing can be held on to. To the degree that you go with a stream, you see, you are still. You're flowing with it. But to the degree you resist the stream, then you notice that the current is rushing past you and fighting for you. So swim with it. Go with it. And you're there. You're at rest. And this is, of course, particularly true when it comes to those moments when life really seems to be going to take us away. And the stream of change is going to swallow us completely. The moment of death. And we think, oh, oh, this is it. This is the end. And so at death we withdraw. Say, no, 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 not that. Not, not, not yet, please. But actually, the whole problem is uh, that there really is no other problem for human beings than to go over that waterfall when it comes. Just as you go over any other waterfall, just as you go on from day to day, just as you go to sleep at night. Be absolutely willing to die. Now, I'm not preaching. I'm not saying you ought to be willing to die and that you should um, muscle up your courage and somehow put on a good front when the, when the terrible thing comes. That's not the idea at all. The point is that you can only die well if you understand the system of waves. If you understand that your disappearance as the form in which you think you are you, your disappearance as this particular organism is simply seasonal, that uh, you are just as much the dark space beyond death as you are the light interval called life. These are just two sides of you. But the propagation of vibrations, and life is vibration, it simply goes on and on, but its cycles are long cycles and short cycles. So then you see, here's the principle. When you don't resist change, you see that the changing world, which disappears like smoke, is no different from the nirvana world. Nirvana, as I said, means breathe out, let go of the breath. So in the same way, don't resist change. It's all the same principle. So the bodhisattva saves all beings, not by preaching sermons to them, but by showing them that they are delivered, they are liberated by the very fact of not being able to stop changing. You can't hang on to yourself. You don't have to try not to hang on to yourself. It can't be done, and that is salvation. Memento mori, be mindful of death. Gurdjieff says in uh, one of his books that the most important thing for anyone to realize is that you and all you, every person you see, will soon be dead. See, it sounds so gloomy to us because we have devised the culture fundamentally resisting death. In other words, from the first standpoint, the worst is going to happen. You're all going to die. And don't just put it off in the back of your mind and say, I'll consider that later. <laughs> it's the most important thing to consider now. 
because it enables you, it is the mercy of nature, because it's going to enable you to let go and not defend yourself all the time, waste all energies in self-defense.